have had a fair amount of snow this winter. MnDOT Mike, as we like to call him, Mike Doherty, is here to chat a little bit about the snow plows and give you some information about what goes on with the Minnesota Department of Transportation when we are dealing with these heavy snow amounts. Thanks for being here. Yeah, thanks for having me. Um, yeah, I, you know, Christmas time on through, we've we've had a lot of experience seeing mm -hmm. the plows out there. MnDOT's got 102 snow plows in southeast Minnesota, so chances are you you saw us out doing our work and. Um, we thought we'd just talk a little bit about those snow plows, the size of them, um, and what they do out there. You know, so we, for instance, you see it, um, it's, it's big. You know, it's, it weighs upwards of 70,000 pounds when it's loaded with salt. Um, it can carry about 12 tons of salt, rock salt, but then also has some tanks along the side that you can see on there, um, up to 100 gallons of brine. And we use brine on the roads. It's a saltwater mix. It okay. either directly on the road or to activate some of that rock salt to get the, the salt moving and working. Um, it also has three blades oftentimes. So you'll see the one on the front, everybody sees that one. Uh, but t often we have a wing blade, either one on the right or the left. So be aware that sometimes it might be out in the lane on one side, but it has a wing plow. Then it has an undercarriage as well that when it gets icy um, and we use that as well. So those sorts of things um, are important. And, um, and then we just, thought they also have other tools as well. Yeah, and, and there's a method to the madness. I know I saw some video from the Twin Cities because they did get more snow than us. We, we, we could have four, five plows in a row, and yes. there's a reason for that. Yes, team plowing, we call it. Um, you see that a lot in the cities. If you're out here on Highway 52, you'll also see it a lot. It's a real efficient way to clear the road quickly when we're getting a lot of snow at once, and, and you'll see it on there. Uh, it lines up on the left with the front plow, and then they just taper back. Um, so we have a plow on each lane of highway, and it just pushes the snow across from left to right. Um, like I said, it's a good, efficient way to move over, um, but we got to keep traffic back, um, so be alert um, yeah. that they're moving slower. Um, but we also have other tools as well. We have a, a tow plow, um, so that's a plow that is basically attached to a hitch on the back of the plow, uh -huh. um, and it can swing out to the side. They have uh, controls that can maneuver it, so. Uh, suddenly one snow plow can cover about two and a half lanes of traffic. Sure. Um, you'll what are those typically used for? Like what roads? Uh, you'll see that on Highway 52 typically. Okay. Yeah, the multi-lane highways, especially there. Um, they'll do on some cleanup areas. If it's super heavy snow, they're not gonna, uh, but they'll do that. And um, it's a, it, like I said, it's another efficient way. It's another tool depending on the conditions there. Um, we also have icebreakers. Mm -hmm. um, and those are these big rollers that are weighted that have little spikes on it when we get that compaction. Um, so often like after a heavy snow and then the temperatures plunge quickly, you get the compaction that, that bonds to the road and it gets bumpy and it's, mm -hmm. it's difficult. The, the plow can't get that off, the, the salt isn't working so that um, that tow plow or the, uh, the icebreaker can break that up. It puts little pock marks in there and then a road grader can come along, lift up some of that compaction sure. as well. Um, and then the last one I know people did see out on the roads when we had all this drifting is the big snow blower. Sure. So it's, you know, I wish I had one for my driveway. Yeah. <laughs> it'd, it'd be nice one piece pass. Of equipment. Yeah. But it's usually when those drifts cover um, so much of the road that our, our plows can't really break through. So they're able to shoot that snow off into the ditch, yeah. get it out. And, and so, yeah, so we've got a, a bunch of different tools. Um, I think the key for motorists, though, is to remember that those snow plows are moving slower. So mm -hmm. they're going at anywhere from 25 to 35 miles an hour, you know, to make sure that that salt gets down, that they're moving well. Um, but that means if you're going on the highway, they're probably going, you know, almost half as slow as, as you are. So sure. be aware of that. Get your headlights on so you can be visible. Um, and then just stay back from the plow. We, we recommend about 10 vehicle lengths back from the okay. plow. That's a good safe distance. With your headlights on, they can see you, and they will pull over from time to time. Right, so we you, mentioned that because yes. people get stuck and they get frustrated, yes. but they do pull over eventually. Yes, and I've even put myself in that camp sometimes <laughs> where, you know, coming back Christmas go. night, yeah, oh, come on. But they eventually do get over, and you know, but they also want to make those roads safer. So the longer that plows out in front of you, putting down salt and pushing it the, so, the, the snow off to the side, the safer your route's going to be. So. So for those at home who maybe don't know what the Minnesota Department of Transportation covers when it comes to plows, what areas are you guys specifically in? We're on the state highways. So, you know, the Highway 52, Highway 14, Highway 30, 
you know, 63, those ones, I-35, I-90. Sure. So those, um, but we've got, there's a number of plows out there. So you've got all the county snow plows, you've got the city snow plows, they're specific to those locales, even the townships, you know. So um, there's a lot of snow plow operators. Like I said, MnDOT, we have 102 on our state highways, but there's a whole bunch more depending on, you know, city, county, or township. Yeah, and I know across South Dakota, I'm not sure if it was in Minnesota, it may have been where they actually pulled their plows off the roadways because it was so dangerous for the plows to even be out. Did we deal with that in Minnesota at all? We do from time to time. Yeah. Um, it will, when it gets really tough because, yeah, it makes sense. If your plow is going to get stuck, yeah. then that's just going to compound things. So um, we want those operators to be ready to roll, um, and if conditions are such, we'll pull them off. Um, and wait, and it should be only a few hours, hopefully, yeah. until they can get back out. But yeah, just stay attention to the news, those sorts of things, and they'll let you know. Five one one, of yeah. course. Yep. Yeah. Um, have you dealt with any issues? Any big issues that you've dealt with? with no. The recent snow. Um, it's been pretty good so far. Okay. Um, occasionally, we do have people that run into the back of a snowplow. Yeah. Um, so that's the big it's thing. Not is, great. Yeah. Just ten car lengths. Yes. Yeah. Be alert. <laughs> pay attention. Um, and remember, they're moving slower. And because if you do hit a snowplow. Chances are your vehicle is going to be far more damaged than ours, yeah. uh, but you do take that snowplow out of service, which then impacts not just you and that, that operator, but the whole public then. Are you doing okay on operators, a uh, number of drivers, or do you still have some openings? Um, we're pretty good. Yeah, okay. we're sitting all right, but we can always use some emergency sure. temporary ones. So if people are interested, they can check in at mindot.gov um, you know, and look for the operator uh, openings there but yeah anybody that's interested we're always willing to hear okay and lastly we have a competition some results are coming out here soon for name the snowplow yes you know after thousands of entries on name the snowplow really? yes that's good. yes um <laughs> they're they've winnowed the the list down or they're close to getting it to 50. okay so look in the next couple weeks here there'll be a list of 50 so people can go online vote on those pick the top eight um and pick the next one um, we pick eight because we have eight uh, mindot districts sure so in our district thus far we've got um, Snowby One Kenobi and Edward Blizzard Hands. Yes. And so who will be the third named snowplow that will come to our district? Okay. We're, we're interested. Looking forward to that. We'll keep you posted on that too. We don't know an official date of when they'll be coming out, but we of course will have that on our website and we have a link to it on our website already at ktdc.com. Mike, thank you so much for being here. Thanks, Kimmy. We appreciate everything you do.